My name is Mattia, I'm also known as Juby, and it's been one full week since I moved to Thailand. I'm based in Chiang Mai, and more specifically in Niman, a district of Chiang Mai mainly populated by digital nomads and university students. Since I've been here, my life has changed a lot. While before I was still at home with my family and my parents, now I'm by myself in the complete other side of the world. I came here without having any kind of connection or knowing anything about Thailand. Yet, after only one week, it's turning out to be the best decision of my life. I've already learned so many valuable lessons that are exponentially boosting my growth curve in both business and life. So let's not waste any time, let's jump straight into the lessons. Here are the five lessons I've learned after moving to Thailand by myself at only 18 years old. Lesson number one, the biggest productivity hack is to change your environment. See, I used to always struggle with focusing. I couldn't focus for more than 10 minutes without having to check my phone or having to scroll on Instagram. I thought I had to go into a dopamine detox or some shit like that till when I came here and I realized that wasn't the case. The problem was my environment. In fact, the first thing that I did when I came here was joining a co-working office. It means an office that is shared with other entrepreneurs, other people that work on their computer remotely. And being surrounded by people that are able to work 15 hours in deep focus, I'm talking about deep fucking work, like they don't even get their head up to go eat, to go pee, nothing. They work 15 hours straight. Being surrounded by this kind of people increased my productivity by three times. So leave the productivity hacks alone, change your environment. That's what actually is gonna boost your output at the end of the day and what's also gonna boost your productivity in overall. Lesson number two, everybody knows something that you don't, absorb it. See, I've been here for like a week and I've already been connected to so many people, to YouTubers, agency owners, marketers, video editors, etc, etc. And what I understood is that all of them know something that I don't. So like every single day here, I meet two new people, we exchange our contacts and we talk about what we're working on, about our ideas, our projects. And what I always try to do is to have them talk about what they're doing, what they're using through their stuff, explain me how they do it. And if I see that they're very, very good at one skill, that they're actually professionals, I try to get them to teach me something, something that I don't know and I can apply to my business. For example, this week I've had like an hour training with a professional video editor and now my videos are gonna go better. And that's all thanks to getting into a space, into an environment where you're surrounded by professionals and hardworking people. That's where you meet the connections. You don't meet them only on Instagram or Twitter. No, you've gotta get out here in the world and these are the places where you meet your connections, co-working offices, because that's where the connections are. That's how you get better, by surrounding yourself with better people. Lesson number three, open-minded strangers give the best advice. This point connects to the second point, but basically what I'm trying to say is that these people don't have any relation with you. They have no problem with telling you if your idea is shit, if you can do that better. They're not just gonna acknowledge what you're doing. They're not just gonna say, oh, okay, cool, man. Yeah, that's good. Like maybe your friends do because they don't wanna hurt your feelings. Of course, they don't wanna ruin their, the friendship and that's cool, okay? But if you actually want advice, if you actually want to know how you're doing, how your idea is. Now, I'm not saying you need to take every advice literally. But if you want really good advices, you need to ask to strangers with open minds. See, people with a closed mindset, when you tell them your ideas, always looking for a reason why it won't work. While open-minded people, as soon as you tell them your idea, start looking and thinking for ways that it can work and ways you can scale it. That's the difference between open-minded people and closed-minded people. And to be honest, it's hard to have some childhood friends who have your same mindset or have a really open mindset. So that's why you need to connect with strangers with open minds. They give you the best advices and will actually help you think in different ways on how to scale and how your project can do. Lesson number four, you won't become a man as long as your mom makes your bed. And that's unfortunate, but it's true. You'll never become a man as long as you live in your parents' house. Nobody has ever become a real man living in his parents' house, Get, having his mom make his bed, having his mom cook for him, having his mom clean his clothes. He, nobody has ever become a man doing that. 
and the earlier you learn to pick up after yourself and the earlier you're gonna become a man and I've been here for only a week but I've already noticed how the pressure I have on my back increased how my responsibilities increased I have nobody with me I'm here by myself if I spill food on my clothes now I'm like shit I'm gonna have to clean that it's not like oh mom is gonna clean that no shit you're gonna have to clean that so you really get a mindset switch and the only way you can do that is by going away from your home get the fuck out of there if you want to become a man the sooner you get out of there and the sooner you become a man see now after this experience i'm gonna stay here for months i'm gonna be 10 steps ahead of men of 30 years old who have never left their parents house who have never done anything outside of their house and at the same time are gonna be 50 steps ahead of people my age who have never done an experience like this so if you want to become a man you need to stop having your mom pick up after yourself get on a fucking plane and go on the other side of the world by yourself i guarantee you your responsibilities are gonna increase your pressure is gonna increase and you're gonna have to move your ass or you'll die <laughs> and you don't want to die so if you want to survive you're gonna to have to grow and it's basically a way to force your growth and that connects to lesson number five the best way to step up to your comfort zone is to be forced to see i hear so many guys saying oh i struggle to get out of my comfort zone uh i can i struggle to do that i struggle to get on sales calls i struggle to do this and that okay and, I, and i'm like you'll never be able to step out of that comfort zone you'll never be able to expand your comfort zone if you are not forced to leave it see by coming out here i'm forced to get out of my comfort zone i left myself with no plan b i had the opportunity to go to uni i had the opportunity to go study and i said no fuck that i burned the boats and now i either win or i find a way to win i either make it or i find a way to make it so i'm forcing myself to get out of my comfort zone I'm forcing it. If you're not comfortable enough getting on sales calls and trying to make some money online, you probably don't need money that much, right? You're probably comfortable enough in the situation you're in. While I guarantee you that if you were alone on the other side of the world and you had to get your money up because either way you're not gonna eat, I guarantee you, you get on that sales call and you'll try to close that because you're forced to. And that's what I'm saying. If you want to extend and expand your comfort zone, you need to be forced to extend that's the way to do it faster because if you wait 30 years until you're comfortable to do one thing you'll never be comfortable to do that it's called uncomfortable for a reason you will never be comfortable doing uncomfortable stuff but it'll be easier to do it if you're forced to do it now what do i want you to get out of this video and i'm just trying am i just trying to motivate you tell you my lessons no i want to tell you and make you realize how impactful it is in someone's life to live at 18 years old as soon as you can to go on the other side of the planet take that plane don't care what your parents think you're 18 okay and now you're, and now you're gonna say oh yeah but i don't have the money there are ways to make money online you're just not hungry enough everyone can make money online i came here by myself with my own money i made my own money copywriting online learning the skill by myself while my friends were out partying so if you really want something if you really want to grow as a man and you want to get the money to have a, to do an experience like this there are ways to make the money you just don't want it enough and if you want it then go and get it if you want to achieve uncommon results you need to be willing to take uncommon actions you won't become a top one percent man if you do what the 99 percent of men are doing or in general as a person, even if you're a girl, you won't go in the top 1% if you do what the 99% is doing. 99% of my friends is going to college without even knowing why. Me, who is trying to go to the 1%, is doing what the 99% is not doing. Going in the other side of the world by himself, getting connections, getting his skills up. And that's what you need to do if you want to actually succeed at a young age, in my opinion. I'm, now I'm not saying go in the booking app and just book your flight right now but what I'm saying is think about it it could change your life